Hi, it's Martin Chown. It's Friday the 3rd of April. Last couple of weeks I've issued a written update to you, by the way, the CEO update. I hope you read those. I hope you found those useful. Today I thought I'd try something different and record a short video um, giving you my thoughts about where we are and what we need to do. I'm going to cover four things really today. I'm going to cover our response. I'm going to talk to you about progress and why progress is still vitally important and how we can achieve that progress. I'm going to talk to you about our communities and our stakeholders. And then lastly, there's a message from me to everybody that works at Sellafield. So firstly, our response. So uh, we, started, we started our response a couple of weeks ago and we started to then close down the difficult facilities. I think we took the decision to close down Magnox on the 17th of March and we slowly closed down our more difficult facilities. And since then, as you probably know, we've closed down the nuclear facilities as far as we can, where it's safe and secure on the main site. We also closed down our construction sites, so our major project's work is now closed down and in a safe state. Those decisions weren't easy decisions to take, but I think we took the right decision at the right time to protect our workfronts, but also to protect all of our people, both our own employees and our supply chain employees working at Sellafield. Beyond that, now we need to think about the phases of operation. We've worked on a six phase operational plan. We're currently in phase two of that and we will maintain phase two for the next week or two or maybe even slightly longer than that. We review that on a regular basis with the exec, with the management teams, and we will decide at the right times when we can reintroduce those work fronts, when we can move to phase three, phase four of our operations and the manning required to do that. But that's not something we're gonna do quickly and we're going to take a careful consideration before we implement any of those changes that we've made. It's been a difficult time for everybody to do that at Sellafield. We had to react quickly, and thanks to you all for the response that you've done. You're all part of that, and you've implemented that. The CMT, our crisis management team, has been working exceptionally well, exceptionally hard, and has been managing all of those work fronts with the different operational cells about how we implement that, and I think that's been highly effective. We're running the site now on about 850 people. We did have about 1,350 people at the start. It's now down, I believe, to about 850. The other things that we've done is we've donated thousands of items of PPE to our NHS and to a few other select organisations who can really use those. So that's a great thing. I think the NHS picked up a large quantity of those from our site in Lily Hall on Saturday and then some other local deliveries happened in Cumbria and in Warrington on Sunday as well. So a really good response there and we're doing as much as we can to support our communities. Moving on to progress. So you all know the mission that we have, you all know how crucial that is to the nation, to our business, to our stakeholders and everybody in our local communities. It's vital at this time that we try and maintain as much progress as we can. We are still running some work fronts on site. We're looking at our site electrical infrastructure. There are about four projects looking about what the essential works we need to do, and they're still progressing, and they're progressing well in a safe and controlled way. Just this week, actually, a couple of days ago, we got the license instrument from the ONR to commence construction on that six-step contingency plant. That's a really good move, a really good time for us to achieve that and demonstrates that in this time, we're still achieving some of the critical milestones that we need to protect the safety and security of the site. So excellent uh, result from there. We're also launching some more work around people transformation and we're going to be engaging some of the management teams around there. Communications have improved. We're sending out now daily communications. I hope you find those useful. I think yeah, that it's really clear, really sharp, really succinct. So please take your time just to update yourselves um, the situation is fast changing and developing, so those communications are your most up-to-date source of information about what you need to do and how you can access work and how we can make the progress. We've agreed the targets for Sellafield now for 2020-2021, so for this financial year, and that was really important for me. Um, you may say or you may think uh, why in this time is agreeing a set of targets really important, where clearly there's going to be some variation and some look at how those targets are achieved and the schedules that we've got in light of the COVID experience that we're currently going through now. Um, I think that's still important because it builds a baseline for us. It makes things clear for us with us and our stakeholders about what we can achieve and how we can achieve it. So please maintain progress at pace. Please think differently about how you can work and please do as much work as you can so that we don't lose a day for day in these times. I accept that we are going to lose 
some of our schedule and we are going to have some impacts on some of our construction sites. That's inevitable. But I want to minimise that as much as we can so we can return to work and get back on with our mission and deliver our objectives for everybody at Sellafield. I wanted to talk to you about our communities. So our communities are really important and our stakeholders are really important. Our stakeholders and our stakeholder engagement is one of my five priorities I launched when I got the role of CEO a couple of months ago. Our stakeholders have been exceptional. So the NDA, the government, the regulators and our local communities, the MPs, uh, the elected mayor, everybody that works with us has been strongly supportive of Sellafield and remains so. So I'm really grateful for that. I'm really supportive of that. They're interested in what we're doing. And I think the way that we're managing this is setting a standard about our nuclear professionalism and how we act, uh, which makes me really proud about what we do and how we behave. Uh, we've issued guidance around volunteering. Please have a look at that. And if you can take up opportunities to volunteer and support your communities, I would encourage you to do that. We can't do that for everybody. We have to protect the site. We've got lots of key workers at Sellafield and we need to make sure that we've got that, that workforce, that resilience protected for the site, as I know you all understand. But over and above that, we've already put lots of people, many of you have volunteered already. And so thank you for doing that. I think that's really important that we can support the communities we live in and the site as well as that takes primacy. Our communities are under a lot of pressure. We were very careful about how we handled our key workers and didn't put additional burden on the schools. And I think that's been really minimal impact that we've had in terms of school places. We may have some, but as Sellafield with the amount of employees that we have, we could have overwhelmed that system. I'm really pleased that we didn't and that we found a way to maintain the site in the way that we need to but also not place an additional burden on the communities that we live in. That's really important for us and our stakeholders and our families and the areas that we work in. We will continue to make those progress. We'll continue to work with the communities. We're strongly engaged in that. One of the divisions of the crisis management team is looking at how we can provide the support in the best way that we can. And that's something that I want to make sure that we put all of our effort behind. Lastly, for me, I said there was going to be a message from me to you at the end, and it's really around my thanks to you. Many of you are in the frontline operations on site. You'll be attending site, and it's really vital, as you know, that we do that, and we do that in a safe way. We've issued guidance, guidance and guidelines about how we can do that and how that can be done, and that work can be carried out in a safe way. We've changed the travel arrangements, the access to site to enable people to be able to get to site and to do that work. So for those frontline workers, uh, amazing work that you're doing and a personal thank you from me to everybody that's involved in there. Many workers, thousands of us, have changed our working patterns and working from home or working from different locations. That's got its difficulties in itself and I'd encourage you to maintain the progress that we need for the site in the way that you can, supporting those frontline operations, supporting all the people on site and the work that they do. Lastly, for me, I think it's going to be a few weeks. It's going to be a, a, a longer in terms of the progress that we need to make before we can return to work to normal. I think we need to start planning on how we could do that. I think now we're starting to look at how that could be ramped up at the right time. As I said to you earlier, that's careful consideration. That's not a decision that we're going to take lightly in terms of returning workers to, to different phases of operations and ramping the site back up. It's something that we'll take a, a lot of thought and care over about when the right time is to do that and how we can do that in the most effective way. So finally, from me, I want to make sure that you all keep safe. I want to give you a message. You know, you need to, this time to, to think about keep looking after yourselves, looking after your family and looking after each other. So that was really it from the CEO update today. I hope you found that useful as a personal message to every single employee that works at Sellafield. And I hope to see you all soon. Thank you.